What's up? Good evening, everybody. Yo, what's up? What's up? Hey, how to kill sugar addiction. Should I say it? Facebook, Instagram. Everybody gets the show started. How to kill sugar addiction. On Saturday I told you what sugar was doing to your body. Now I'm gonna show you how to kill that addiction. How to kill the sugar addiction. And yes, it could be done. So we're about to get started, y'all. Now's the time you can invite people over here to the show. Yes, get ready. Wait for people to come online on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Let's go. Yo, what's up? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hope everybody's having a blessed day, an awesome day. And if you're not having that blessed and awesome day, guess what? I'm about to change it for you. Because on Saturday, I showed y'all what uh, I think it was 100% sugar was the cause of all health problems. And that's, that's straight up truth. 100% sugar is the cause of all health problems. Whether it's diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety, depression, uh, skin infections, psoriasis, um, heart failure, kidney failure, whatever you could think of. Guess what? Sugar it, it is even the cause of feeding into the cancer cells. Okay, So sugar is the cause of everything. But today, I'm going to show you, let's beat this addiction. And I'm not only going to do this in one video. I'm going to do this on a few videos so we can beat it. Right? So I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to delete sugar out your life, to delete sugar out your life. And what's in it for you, if you delete sugar out your life, you're going to beat all health problems. You're going to get more energy. And it's the best thing you can ever do for yourself. Right? The best thing you could ever do. Now, when I say sugar, I'm not talking about natural sugar. Like, so if you got strawberries, I always tell people to go to strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. Those carry very, very little bit of sugar. The reason why you want to get away from sugar is because think about it this way. It's eight times. I thought it was exactly where cocaine was at, right? But I just read something that's eight times more potent than cocaine. More potent than cocaine. And I could actually believe that. I could actually believe that because I see a lot of people almost just drowning themselves away from all this sugar, right? They just sugar all the time. You know, I don't know if you realize how much sugar a soda has in it. A small little can of soda. Do you know how much sugar a soda has in it? If I'm not mistaken, it has like about, I would say like 18, 19 teaspoons of sugar. That's how much a, a soda water a soda has, right? A little small a soda water, and uh, shout out to Patricia, shout out to Armando, and um, so sugar, man, sugar is what's causing everybody's problem, whether it's their weight, whether it's their energy, whether it's their, you know, their type two, their borderline. When you're borderline, all that means is you're about to be diabetic next week. I'm gonna be honest with you, right? And so you want to bring you want to beat this addiction. There's a lot of reasons why you want to beat the addiction. You know, it, it affects everything. It affects your teeth. It affects your skin. 
It affects your mind. You know, a lot of times people that take in sugar and sugar and sugar, they're in bad moods. You know, they're in bad moods. And sometimes when they get the sugar, they're in they're an OK mood. But then they're back to a being in a bad mood. Right. They're real negative. It's, 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 it's the sugar. I promise you it's the sugar. Sugar would mood, just mood swing you like crazy, you know, for women. When women get their periods every month, I guarantee you, if you stop taking in that sugar, it's going to help. It's going to help my wife. It's going to help. It's going to help a lot, you know. So everything, everything changes. And you're probably saying, well, free, how do I beat the addiction? I, you want to know how you kill it, right? You want to know how you kill it. Well, you do exactly that. You kill it. You see, the thing about it, there's people out there that do certain things, right? There's people out there that drink, right? But that don't make them alcoholics, right? There's people out there that, that do this, but that don't make them that, right? So get yourself at a better place, right? So I know it might be hard because everything carries sugar in. Everything has sugar in it. But that don't mean you got to have all those grams of sugar every day. Think about it. If I can get you down to two or three grams or four grams of sugar, right? If I can get you down to that, you're going to live a better life. That That's bottom line. You'll live a better life. I mean, it'll be way different. Everything would be different, you know? A lot of times we got I got couples that I talk to and they have problems, right? They have problems with their with their I'm, 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 you know, my show is all open. So they have problems in, in their bedroom. Right. And the thing is. We all go through some problems, right? So when I was type two diabetic, you know, those problems started occurring, but uh, not any longer. It was always it's always the sugar that stops you from doing a lot of things that you want to do. I mean, that's bottom line. It's always sugar. Sugar con controls you. Right now, if I take you a box of donuts, of Shipley donuts, hot, fresh, with the sugar and everything, if I take you a box of donuts, you're going to eat one. You are going to eat one. No matter what I say on my show, you are going to eat a donut. Even if you don't eat it today, you eat it tomorrow, or somebody in your house is going to eat the donut, right? Why? Because it's an addiction. It's calling you. Come here. Come here, man. You know what? Look. I'm in your house. They were free. And you're going to find every reason why to eat that donut. You're going to say, well, you know what? I'll start tomorrow or I'll start the next day or I'm not diabetic or, or you know what? I don't got no health problem. Or, I'm going to eat this, you know, and, you, and then you start doing that. And that's the addiction. Sugar got you. Sugar got you like like right here. And, and that's what sugar's doing. Sugar. Every time sugar's pushing you, it's pulling you and pulling you till it till it does that. Right. And that's what sugar does. And a lot of people don't think so, but it, it does, you know, it puts you in the hospital. Now you got to take medication. And now, you know, you got doctors getting before I talk about the doctors. Hold on. Before we talk about the doctors, let's 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 go to places. real quick. All right, here we go. Attention. My advice is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any health problems. I am not a doctor. I just show you what worked for me. Let's begin the show. OK, so what are doctors going to do for you? And I had another show on that. I had doctors ain't doing nothing for you because they're not right. So what are doctors going to do for you? Doctors are going to keep on giving you medication after medication after medication. They're going to give you insulin, stronger insulin, stronger insulin. And guess what? You are never going to get healed. This is what I'm telling you. You are never going to get healed. If you're type two, later on, you become type one. And if not type one, later on, you'll go into dialysis. There's a lot of things that happen to sugar. I've seen people lose their eyesight over it. I've seen people get paralyzed from one side of their body from it. I've seen people have strokes. I've seen people that died. Some of my personal friends died from diabetes. You see? So sugar is a big, big thing. And it's not just in diabetes. It's in fatty liver. It's in your kidney. Do you realize that when you get you start getting inflammation, everything starts hitting your arteries and stuff in your body and your and the oxygen in your blood and everything starts affecting everything in your body. Inflammation does a lot of damage to you, right? Now, where does inflammation come from? Well, inflammation comes from sugar, you know. And where does it come from? It comes from your glucose, you know. So it's really dangerous, guys. Who we, that's what we got over here. Hey, hey how you doing? I appreciate y'all being on here. So a shout out to Sharon, uh, Sharon, Sharon, Sharana, and shout out to uh, Gemini, and shout out to uh, Kat. I'm sorry, I can't. I might not be saying your names, but I'm sorry. Uh, appreciate everybody being on here on TikTok. Appreciate everybody being on uh, Instagram. And do we got anybody, do we got anybody in the gram yet? Do we got anybody in the gram yet? Yes, we got people on the gram. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Appreciate y'all being on here, man. And let's learn. Let's do this, guys. So I want to challenge y'all. I want to challenge y'all. I want to challenge y'all 
to deleting sugar out your life. You got to detox your body, right? And I'll show you everything right now. I'll show you everything right now. So you need to leave the, sw- the sodas alone and start drinking a lot of, lot of water. But drink you a good water that got really good electro- electrolytes in it, a real good water, right? Okay, now if I told you y'all not going to get sick, I'll be lying to y'all because y'all are going to get sick. Because remember, it's a drug that's stronger than cocaine. We're talking about eight times stronger than cocaine. So you're going to have some withdrawals. You're going to have, and it's crazy. You were talking about sugar. You're going to have sugar withdrawals. Hey, shout out to George. You're going to have sugar withdrawals, right? So the very first time when I started leaving sugar alone, I felt lightheaded. I felt like I had to throw up. I felt sick, right? I felt like, oh my God, you know, but after a few weeks, you got to go 10 days. Look, 10 days to break the habit. If you could go 10 days and if you could do exactly what I tell you, where you can make sure you're taking enough water. I'll tell you, make sure you take some tea, you know, some tea that's going to help you. You know, it's going to help you, you know, lower your your lower your everything. Right. So one thing a lot of times right now, people have really fatty liver. Right. And how do you beat fatty liver? Do you go to the doctor? No, because the doctor gonna tell you, you have fatty liver. Guess what? We're going to give you medicine. Medicine is going to be everything for a doctor. No matter what, medicine is going to be everything for a doctor. But medicine should be coming from a medicine cabinet. It shouldn't be coming from your doctor or from a pharmacy. Medicine should come from food you're eating, from food you're eating, from vegetables you're eating, from Brussels sprouts, from asparagus. And that's where your medicine should come from, you know, from your berries to get your, your you know, your vitamin C, your vitamin D, your vitamin A. That's where your, your vitamins should come from. That's where everything should come from. And if you follow this method, then you're going to realize that you're going to live like this. You're going to live good. You're going to, man, look, I did a show on Saturday. I got the same energy I had on Saturday. I had the same energy I had yesterday. Matter of fact, it's probably more. And my energy level never slopes down. It never goes down. You know, uh, this is me from morning to night. You know, it's crazy, but this is me. I, I, I love it. I love it. Every day. I get up in the morning and say, man, I got to help someone. I have to help someone, you know, and I didn't know that was my calling. You know, I, if you had told me three and a half years ago, free, you're going to be helping so many people out. I would have told you, you're crazy. That's not me. I'm not going to help with well, I'm a DJ for them because, you know, that's all I know, you know. So, but three and a half years ago, you're talking to somebody that was addicted to sugar, that was sick, that was real big, that was overweight and had so many health problems from digestive problems from high blood pressure problems from not having no energy from depression from a lot of stuff that people might be going through right now how did it change for free well the way it changed for me is i deleted sugar out my life i deleted sugar out my life and you're probably saying free what can we substitute sugar with and i'm gonna tell you and no it's not honey If you want to have honey, you could have some honey. Just don't have so much because honey carries a lot of sugar. But it's it's better than sugar, right? But you could have like, like there's three there's uh, three sweeteners I recommend you. Three sweeteners. That's it, right? Only because these sweeteners are made out of a plant, right? And they're not gonna hurt you. They're not gonna uh, pop up your glucose. You're gonna be okay, right? Diabetic friendly, whatever you want to call it. It's just friendly. Everything's friendly, right? So number one is monk fruit. That's the number one sweetener, monk fruit, right? But you got to make sure you get the right one so you will get Lakanto. You can write this down. Number one sweetener is monk fruit. Make sure you get Lakanto, right? Number two sweetener, Stevia. Stevia is more likely, you can find Stevia everywhere, right? So Stevia, I recommend Stevia. Number three, Erythritol. And these are the only sweeteners I recommend you. This is it. See? And these sweeteners right here, they ain't going to hurt you, right? Now, oils, and, and if you want to cook with some certain oils, and this is what you need to do cook with. You need to cook with olive oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, real butter, baking grease, or manteca, you know, or, or lard, right? And those are the ones that you could have that are not going to hurt you, whether you're, in ke- you're doing keto or not doing keto. Guys, a lot of people think that, they, I see a lot of people on here. I'm running a, around the track. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And and it's good that you're running around the track. It's good that you're doing that. And then when I see your food, I see brown rice. I see I see you having a plate that, that you're probably not even happy of, right? You're like, oh, you know. 
and it don't have to be that way. You know, in the keto lifestyle, you can enjoy yourself. You just got to know what to eat and what not to eat and how to eat it. That's all it is. What to eat, what not to eat, and how to eat it. And guess what? My cookbook is coming. So when my cookbook comes out, you're going to realize, like, oh, my God, I didn't know I could make that. I didn't, I didn't know being on keto I could eat this, right? And you can. I, I, my book took a while, and it'll be coming out in December, The reason around Christmas time. The reason why it took a while, because I wanted to make something exciting for people. I didn't want to make something that they would see on YouTube somewhere, you know, or, or, or somewhere, or somebody that, you know, this is keto. You know, I want to make something that's going to be like, oh, my God, this tastes really good, really good. And that's what I want. I want some real good food that they can enjoy themselves and know that keto is not boring. You know, everybody thinks, you know, when you talk about keto and, and then you got people out here that I do keto, they do keto, everybody does keto, right? But they're not doing it right. And once they don't get results, they quit. I've seen it too many times. They quit. It gets too hard for them. Why? Because they got somebody trying to tell them, hey, you know what? Take this, prove it or take this packet or take these pills or take this milkshake or take this. And guess what? It's all keto. And you don't have to work out. And, and, and you're right. You don't have to work out. But then they tell you, oh, and you don't, have to, you don't have to watch your carbs. You don't have to watch your carbs. Take all this. You don't have to watch your carbs. Now, that's where they're wrong at because you do got to watch your carbs, right? No matter what. Remember, it's, it's 20 net carbs, right? You'll get to 20 net carbs, you know? So I'm not here to make it easy for anyone, you know, because I'm not. Because if you ask me the keto lifestyle hard, yes, it's hard. Is it worth it? Oh, my God, is it ever worth it? Is it ever worth it? But let me take some questions real quick. New here. Hey, how you doing, Gemini? How you doing? Here, do you use uh, Prove It? Well, no, no, I don't. That's what I was talking about. You see, Gemini, I'm going to tell you something. I was a, a promoter for Prove It, right? In the very beginning, I was a promoter for Prove It. And I, I'm not going to go through the whole story, but I'll let you know a little bit. So I was doing my shows. I've been doing my shows for a long time, probably for about two and a half years already or something like that. I've been doing my shows for a long time already. I've been... Uh, I've been doing keto for like three and a half years. But on one of the things was, a, babe, I'm trying to do a show, babe. I know. Please get him to another room. He's too close to my office. And um, excuse me. So what happened was I was doing I was doing one of my shows and one of the girls asked me, hey, free, did you drop all that weight and get healthy from doing prove it? And I'm not here to, to, to knock it down. I'm not here to knock it down, right? That ain't my intentions. But my intention is to tell you that you don't need it. Because when she asked me that, I, this is my exact, re, you know, my result. This is what I said. I said, hell no. Definitely not. I did this because I worked hard. And because, and, see, man, it's expensive. Proof it's expensive. This is expensive. This is, I tell people all the time, do the keto lifestyle. And they say, oh, it's expensive. And I say, okay, so what's more expensive? Doctors? Medication? Or doing the prove it lifestyle. I mean, in the, yeah, prove it. Oh, my God. And doing the keto lifestyle. And then they tell me, well, I heard that you have to buy these packages and you have to buy this. And that's cost like $60. And you don't have to buy nothing. You do not need no supplements. You do not need no shakes. You do not need food. Like if Weight Watchers will send you certain foods, you don't need that. You could eat the same food you've been eating. You just got to know what to eat and what not to eat. And the things you cannot eat. It's things that are real starchy, starchy, things that like pasta and all that stuff like that. You got to learn how to make it. And guess what? I can show you a lot of stuff tastes so, so good. The very first time I threw my bread away, I was at Whataburger. I threw my bread away and I was sad. I was I got my I said, please, no bread. Right. So I said no bread. I couldn't even say no bread like I wanted to say no bread, like no bread. Right. I was like, no bread, please. Right. And unfortunately, they messed up, so they left the bread in my burger. And I got the bread, and I threw the bread, and I threw it in the trash. And I got, I got my, I had a lot of lettuce on it, right? So I got a lot of lettuce and wrapped it up. I had a jalapenos and everything, and I ate it. Well, do you know that as I was eating it, I was discovering other flavors. Like I was like, man, this meat tastes as good with that pepper and everything, and it tastes so so good, right? Well, before I wouldn't taste that. And it's crazy. You might say, oh, I love that buttery bread, whatever. I thought I did, too. But it comes down to you setting your goals, you setting your mind, you wanting it. You have to want this no matter what. Right. You have to want this no matter what. I've seen a lot of people die young. And I'm not I'm not here to tell you that I know when God what God has planned for you, when you're going to die. But don't rush it. 
don't rush it because I don't see that. I don't see somebody saying, oh, they died of natural cause. I see they died of diabetes. They died of a heart attack. They died of high blood pressure. They died from this. They, that is nothing that God probably wanted for you. You know, it's like he's over here throwing, trying to throw stuff at you, and you're not picking it up. You know, sometimes when I, when I come on my show, I'm sure people pass through my show. I'm, you know, right now, I don't even got a lot of people on here, and I'm sure they pass through it. Oh, Free's talking about sugar again. Oh, Free's talking about this again. Oh, he thinks he's a doctor and this and that. What if God is the one? I mean, I honestly think that God got me to this because three and a half years ago, I was real selfish. I was about, my, I was about myself, my, me and my family, even more me, you know. And I was not talking about helping people. I wouldn't waste my time to help people or reach out to people or want this more than they wanted it. But now I do. I do. Now I'm cheering you. People that I'm coaching, I'm like, hey, all right, all right. You know what? You lost 20 pounds. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. You know, we get calls. like I get calls like that, you know, and I'm happy and I'm cheering people on. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Now, three and a half years ago, you wouldn't have got that from me. So the next time you see my shows about to come on, maybe you should look at it because it's something that people go through all the time, you know. Hey, Claudia, how you doing? Okay, awesome. I was feeling a little drained, but one chocolate chip cookie did the trick. Can't wait to try the cake mix. Awesome, man. So. So Claudia got back on doing the keto lifestyle and I'll be coaching her. And um, she came and picked up some some treats for me. You know, I got sugars at devil dot net. And if you're in Houston or in, around Houston or in Katy or somewhere, guess what? You, you can come pick us up. You know, just let me know what you're going to order and stuff like that. And it'll, it'll save you on your um, shipping and handling. And some people are telling me, you know what? Uh, the shipping's kind of high only because we're trying to get this to you ASAP. Remember, guys, this this carries a lot of ingredients that we got to make sure they're good. This is not your regular treats, right? We got to make sure they remain good and fresh. My main deal is I cook as you order. I'm cooking it. Me or my wife are cooking it. And you get it fresh, hot, and it's going through the mail, you know. And, and that's what we want. That's what we want exactly, you know. Hey, shout out to Dina, man. Appreciate you. Um, okay, question. Does keto have effects on blood pressure? Our cholesterol is due to the fat from foods. Here we go. That's a good question. It does have effects. They are amazing. They are amazing effects. I'm here to tell you, right? So in the very beginning, I was taking the little pills. Three and a half years ago, I was taking the little pills because I had high blood pressure. I would wake up every day with headaches. And during the day, I would get another he headache. And that was all from high blood pressure, right? When I would eat certain foods, I would get headaches, right? Not to mention when I would go to the bathroom, I would hurt so much. I would when I would go when I would go have to go uh, do number two. I hated it because I felt like they were stabbing me during, before, and after, right? So when I started doing keto, high blood pressure was gone, diabetes was gone, digestive problems were gone. You know, my my skin problems were gone, skin tags were gone. You know, and my energy level was up, everything, my mind, my depression, everything was gone, and it was that point. My mind was more clear. You know, here I am. I got four businesses now, you know, and, and it's crazy, man, but I think different. You know, before, three and a half years ago, I was a little bit negative. Now I'm more positive than ever. You know, I'm so positive than anything you could think of. I'm real positive, you know. And I, and I see things, I see things different now. You Sometimes we put too much energy and urgency on things that are not going to help us ever. You know, we put too much in something that's never, ever going to help us, ever going to help us, you know? And, and it's not, it's not like that no more. Hey, Shalia, what's up, bro? So if y'all need any woodwork done, man, hit Shalia up there, man. He does some awesome custom work done. He does and he also does the, the cameras and everything like that. He actually did mine. He does the cameras and, the, you know, everything, TVs, hangs up TVs. He does all that. Make sure y'all hit him up if you need him. Okay, well, I guess we Where does one start? That question right there, I'm going to tell you what I tell everyone. 
start. Start. And if you need my help, my telephone number is right there. My telephone number is always right here. My telephone number is right there. 832-715-2557. 832-715-2557. Now, I always give my number out, and most of the time, people don't take advantage of it or they don't call me. Now, I'm giving my number out for a reason, because I want to help you. Because I want to help you, you know. And... um so true i would take one nap in a day yeah you know i remember i remember a while back i'd probably be asleep right now you know back in the day i was just you just be watching tv you'd be like <coughs> you'd be you uh you know you fall asleep and stuff <coughs> i'm already trying to snore on purpose and <coughs> anyway so but it's not like that no more you know back then i couldn't i couldn't even go down and tie my shoe because i'll be dizzy i'm like oh my god i'm so dizzy right and it's not like that no more you know, people leave this world from high blood pressure. People suffer from high blood pressure. People suffer from diabetes, like real bad. You know, you know. I remember um, one of, one of the one of the the ways you could find out if you're if you got a high blood if you got a not high blood pressure, but if you got a sugar high sugar, if you go pee, and if it bubbles up, or if you you smell an aroma, you smell like you smell the sugar in it because I used to smell it, and if you smell that then either you're borderline or you're close to being diabetic. You know, just by the smell of that, next time, smell it. Hopefully you're not. But before you become that way, see, everyone is headed for diabetes if they don't change. Everyone is headed for high blood pressure if they don't change. Why do I say that? Because if you look up and see how many people are diabetic and the percentage of how many people are diabetic and how many people have high blood pressure your you will mind your mind will blow right you'll be blown out because if I'm the mistake and I think it's 78 78 or 70 percent of people have this problem right and those are high numbers those are high numbers right why because everything has sugar in it and every all the meat you know, process, you need to stay away from processed meat. You need to stay away from all that stuff um, <coughs> and make better choices. You know, you make better choices. Yes, there she goes. So, so, so Claudia says over here, yes, start. Don't wait until Monday or next week or next month. And the reason why you don't want to wait, because you're never going to do it. A lot of people would tell themselves, this is what, this is what people do. This is what's in their mind. They're going to make their life sound good they're gonna make their situation sound good right and they'll blame everybody but themselves right so i had people tell me hey free i want to start and everything okay all right um i can't start just yet because we're going to a party oh okay okay come monday oh i can't start monday because my son he's having a meeting in school and the teacher always makes these good cupcakes and everything like that and i can't be rude okay okay then I don't hear from her Wednesday, Thursday. She's blocking me. I don't hear her number. You know, I'm trying to call her, see how she's doing. And then Friday or Saturday, she calls me out of the blues. All right, free. I'm ready to get started. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Let's do this. And then when they find out how hard it is and what they got to do, I don't hear from them. Now, when I say this, I'm not talking about anybody that's on here right now that's joining me right now. I'm just talking about people in general, right? So I was helping couples out. I remember I was helping this couple out. And she called me and she says, hey, Free, I really need your help. I've been seeing your shows and everything. Well, my husband, he's a truck driver. And he, he, he can't pass his test if his high blood pressure is high. And right now his high blood pressure is high. And she told me the number is over, you know. And I was like, oh, my God, you know. And I'm like, that that's really dangerous, you know? And she says, yes, we went to go see a doctor, but the doctor just said he gave him the little pills and everything and everything you're saying, right? So I said, okay, I'll help you. So then I said, but I don't only want to help you for him to pass the test. I want to keep on helping you, right? Oh, yes, I, I want you to help me and, and even myself. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm overweight. I know I'm overweight. I, I just go, I'm going to health problems, but I want help too. So... He passed the test. I'm sure he passed the test, you know, and, and everything was going good. And they went back to their same old 
habits. Same habits. Same thing. Other people blame it on the COVID. They blame it on the COVID. They'll tell you right now, oh, man, the COVID happened. You know, it, it, now I want to jump back on. And that's true. The COVID did happen. And it was hard for everyone. Everyone the COVID was hard for. And it probably is still hard for. But when I tell you that I never stopped doing what I've been doing before or after the COVID, and I'm good. And you know why? Because I gave it a lot of thought. Even when I want, look, think about this. I'm keto adapted now, right? I'm keto adapted. I'm size 34. I'm not leaving size 34. I know what it takes to stay here, and this is where I'm going to stay at, right? I'm good, right? If I wanted to right now, I could eat whatever I wanted to eat. Whatever I wanted to eat, because food does not control me no longer. This right here controls this right here. When once, this right here controlled this right here. But not no longer. This controls this. Even if my stomach growls, which it don't. That right there tells me. You're not hungry. You're not hungry yet. You know, I do 20. I do 20 hours every day. I intimate fast 20 hours a day. Check this out. Today, I didn't start eating till it's 846. I didn't start eating today till 630. 630 is when I ate my first meal and I'm done. I stopped eating around 720. So I'm done. Right. They need They need nothing heavy. I ate some rotisserie chicken. I ate a. Uh, um, Rotisserie chicken, and I had some lime on it, lime juice, and some some salsa, and that's it, you know. And and it was good. I ate that; it was really good, right? Then I ate some blueberries. I ate some blueberries, and then I ate my 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 ice cream. You know, I make my own ice cream, so I had the ice cream and stuff like that. And that's gonna be on my book. But I ate a strawberry paleta. You know, it was so good, right? So that's what I ate, and I'm good. And now I'm just drinking my water. But look at the hours. I won't be eating. So we're not talking about. 20 hours we're talking a little bit over 20 hours and i'm good you know hey what's up Cruz? man i ain't heard from you shout out to erica how you doing erica N nice to have you on here and shout out to everybody on here uh who do we have on here how does fasting help less time frame for eating you know it, it honestly that's okay so that's a good question so how does fasting help well if you want to do the keto lifestyle then I'll, I'll tell you, don't worry about fasting right now. Do not try to do keto lifestyle and fasting because what's going to happen, you won't get enough fat in. Now, I do fasting. I do keto lifestyle because I'm at a different I'm at a different level. I'm a coach, you know, and plus I, I'm, I'm keto adapted. Right. So it's different. You see, my body runs with energy. My fat is used for fuel every day. My fat does not ever. I'm never using my glue close no more, you know. And if I am, it's very, it very, very inches, right? If I am, right? <coughs> Hold on. Hey, Sherry, how you doing? Oh, my God, that's so good. Water's so good. Oh, no, I don't get hungry at all. No, not at all, man, not at all. In the very beginning, my wife, she started fasting. My wife does 16 hours. You don't have to do, you don't have to do 20, 22, 3 hours. You don't have to do that as long as you do 16 hours, right? But the first thing I recommend is for you to learn keto. Look, you need to find you a coach, right? Even if it's not me, find you a coach. But don't find someone that's never been there. I can tell you. I've had high blood pressure. I can show you. I was a large guy, right? Let me see if I can find another picture. I can show you. That's me and my wife three and a half years ago. I was a big guy, right? Right there you see high blood pressure, diabetes, digestive problems, depression, some anxiety. Man, asthma, I could keep on going. And you can see I've been there. So why do I feel that I could help people? Why? Because I've been there. I've been in the same room 
where you feel that you're trapped in. I've been in the same room where you feel that nothing's ever going to help you lose weight, that nothing's ever going to help your health. You see, my shows are not about your weight, right? Because I never had a problem with my stomach that sticked out over here. And now I do, right? But my deal was about my health. You know, I never did nothing when I was, when I had high blood pressure. I never did nothing when I ended up in the hospital, almost died because I didn't have enough oxygen in my blood. I never did nothing about that. I never listened to no one. I never did nothing when I would felt like they were stabbing me. I was sacrificed to eat Popeyes and be in the restroom. And I felt like they were stabbing me with swords over and over and over. When I couldn't go to sleep because I would go to Timmy Chan's or go somewhere and try to eat something. And, and then I'll be in so much pain. When I would go eat this and I'll be in, and I was so bloated, I was in so much pain. You know. That's gone. Everything is gone. Everything is gone. I used to walk around my house with Pepto Bismol, uh, Melanta, anything you could think of to relieve the pain that I felt from my stomach. So, guys, what I want to do right now, I want to challenge everybody, right? This is a challenge to delete sugar out your life. So, for the first week, you are going to feel lightheaded, you are going to feel sick. But if you go through this and if you're strong, your second week, second week is different. Second week is you're noticing stuff, but you're still you're still not you still don't know what's happening, right? It's more like a denial stage. The third week, you're waking up early, you feel better, you got more energy, you don't know where it's come from, and you're smiling, you're happy, you're smiling. The fourth week, guess what? If you've done what I told you you've done, sugar is dead. You will kill your sugar addiction. You will kill your sugar addiction. But remember, you have to be strong-minded and you have to want this. So I challenge everybody that's on here from Instagram, from Facebook, from TikTok. If you're tired of dealing with health problems, whether they're headaches, migraines, I mean, anything you could think of that hurts you, if you're tired of it, start deleting sugar out your life, and you would beat that sugar addiction. Hey, guys, I appreciate y'all. We're at 37. We're at 37 minutes. I didn't want to be on here that long. Uh, the other day, we did an hour show, but uh, I'm going to go two more minutes. We're going to go actually three more minutes. We're going to go 40, 40 minutes, and I'm going to jump off right here. If you have any questions, let me know if you have any questions. Are the sparkling ice drinks okay on keto? Um, they're okay, but they have surclose in them. I think it's surclose. Is that what I'm saying? Am I saying it right? They have surclose in them. So, honestly, I would say you're better off drinking a Zevia. Drink you a Zevia or drink you that... um. Um, I can't think of it right now. You could drink you some splash water. Splash water is made with stevia. Those are pretty good. They're called splash water. I don't know if y'all seen them, and those are pretty good. But if you if you do have some, don't don't throw them out. Just drink them, and then later on, you know, you have a different choice. That's a good question though, Claudia. Um, my Instagram is one sugar is the devil. So my Instagram, even people on TikTok, hey, man, um, we haven't got banned yet. So that's awesome. So, But one sugar is the devil. You can find me on my Instagram, and that's also my Facebook. I'll be glad to add y'all. I'm trying to make my, my, my pages really huge, guys. And my, my YouTube is Keto is Life TV. Keto is Life TV. I'm going to be giving away. I'm gonna be, I know I'm going to be giving away a few air fryers soon. I'm going to be giving away some good air fryers because I'm, be, I'm about to complete another... Um, I think I'm completing another hundred um, on my thing, and I'm trying to get once I get to my two thousand mark, uh, two thousand people on my YouTube, then I'm definitely gonna give away some items and stuff like that. So if y'all, you know, please join me. Uh, if you're on TikTok, I'm at Keto Coach at Keto Coach. Shout out to Cynthia. Um, no problem, Gemini man. Thank y'all, and thank y'all. Last time I went live last time, and I know some of y'all didn't join me, but y'all joined me last time. And y'all sent me some gifts, so I really appreciate the gifts, man. I really appreciate it. It's not the, the amount. I really don't even know how it works. It's not the amount. It's the heart behind it. 
Guys, if you want to try out my treats, sugaristhedevil.net. Sugaristhedevil.net. If you want to try some amazing natural herbal tea, trishnatea.com. Trishnatea.com. My tea that I designed is called Berry Keto. And the other one's called Unstoppable Health Win. But Berry Keto is really good because of the berry, elderberries and everything it has. And it's really good. My, my, my tea has milk thistle, which you can't find in a lot of teas. It has high business. It has a lot of tea. It has a lot of stuff that's going to help you. It has ginseng to give you the energy. It's a green tea, so it helps you lose weight. And I keep on going, guys. It's, it's pretty much amazing. Hey, appreciate y'all guys. Thank y'all so much. Uh, to the next show we do, join me next time, guys. Thank you so much. Be blessed. If you can't remember anything, remember. Sugar is the devil. First, it'll destroy the inside of you, and then it'll destroy the outside of you. Bye-bye. Sugar is the devil. Keto is life tea.